Expanders for adults, is it possible? Time for some PFOing so you know where you're going. Hey everybody, it's me, Dr. Ryan Packard in McKinney and Anna, Texas. If you're around, come visit. We can talk about your teeth and bite. Today, I'm reviewing a particular case video I found online. We're gonna react to it because I've had some questions about expanders and adults with wanting, maybe considering expanders. There's a technique called MARPI, Mini Screw Assisted Rapid Palatal Expansion. That means that you stick two screws, temporary screws into your bone. They, they, plan, they, they eventually come out and and we build the expander on top of those screws. So it's locked into your bone and it pushes your teeth apart. Okay, we're gonna react to this video to show you about how it might work. Okay, right from the get-go, we see two, three pictures, all right? The original picture on the left. You can see that this individual, their, their bone, their teeth arch is very narrow and they're very crowded. They've got two lateral incisors that are way back towards their tongue, all right? There's just no space for them. Well, then you have the device, right? You have the normal bands that go around the teeth, right, on the side, and then you've got, you can see in the front, there's the screw that goes right through the middle, right? You can do the same thing. There's a hole there and you, you turn the device, right? But then in addition to the normal design of the expander, you have four spots, four spots, at least in this design, four spots where there are screws that have been screwed in to the top jaw, all right? In the front, one, two, and in the very back of behind the screw, one, two, all right? And again, the idea is if you just have an expander that's hooked onto the teeth on the sides or in the front, right? When you push apart, mostly, the teeth are just gonna tip out like this if you're in an adult because the bone is so tight. It's so tight so it's hard to get it to change. That's why expanders are more predictable when you're young and still growing. So, but if you're an adult and you you used to, if you wanted to change something like this, if your bone was like this and you had so much crowding, you were either taking out teeth or you had to consider surgery where they split your bone like that surgically. Well, this is the newest, coolest technique for adults to try and expand your top jaw without potentially having to use surgery. You use the screws, you put the expander on the screws and then you can see they spread it apart and look at the side, the third picture on the right, it's awesome, all right? We're gonna talk about some of the things that they did in this video, but basically, this is the first thing that you need to see. This is the adult method for expanding. It can be done, a lot of pressure, a lot of turns, all right, but it can be done. This doctor did a great job. Okay, so that thing right there, that's called a closed coil. A closed coil doesn't have space in between the in between the individual links or spring, right? Springs, right? It's looped around, but there's no space in it. And the purpose of that is to just hold the space, right? It's, a, it's called a closed coil because it's closed. There's no gaps in between each of the links and it holds space. You want it. Yeah, I don't know, it's suddenly you're gone. You'll never be forgotten. Pretend. Okay, this is called an open coil, and you can kind of tell because there's space in between each of those coils or links, and it says in the notes here that they're trying to activate it, right? That means that they're gonna make the spring, they're gonna spread it out further than in between these two teeth. That way, you can press it down, and then when it relaxes or when it opens back up, it pushes the teeth apart. It sounds like this doctor feels like they need a little bit more space on this side to match the other side. And you're like, what the, they got a wire in there, now we put another wire in there? Because in orthodontics, when we're talking about moving your teeth, there's equal and opposite reactions. So if you're trying to close a space in between two teeth, you have to pull on the teeth, right? You attach something, like maybe like a power chain from one tooth to another tooth. Well, what's gonna happen is that both of those teeth are gonna feel the pressure and come together. Well, in this case, sometimes if you were trying to line these crooked teeth up in the back, remember those laterals in the way back from that first picture? They're all the way back there. If you try to pull those forward, the equal and opposite reaction is to try and pull those front teeth that are out in front backwards. We don't want them to come backwards. All we want is those back teeth to come forwards out into alignment. And so you use a strong wire, a base wire, that's what we call it. And then sometimes you add a second wire that's really flexible. The base wire helps control all the teeth and the flexible wire grabs onto those teeth that are maybe crowded out and we wanna move those. So hopefully with this base arch wire, everything stays the same except for those back teeth, those crooked teeth or those crowded out teeth, they come forward into alignment. Great technique. 
And these are those little colors, right? These brackets require that in order to keep the wire in, you've got to have something, a ligation, right? So something to ligate or tie the wire into the bracket. Some brackets like Damon, Innovation, those are called self ligating brackets. That means that they have a little clip built into the bracket to snap over the wire to hold it. So you don't absolutely need the colors to hold the wire in. But this technique, right? Most people end up wanting colors. So this, this is what's going on. They're tying the wire into place. This is the blue etching material. It's part of the cleaning process. You gotta clean the teeth and get it ready for the glue, right? They're probably gonna glue something here. Ooh, this is a great picture of what the teeth should look like after you've cleaned it off. It, sh it should get, you know, teeth are white. And then when you do this etching process, it's like cleaning it off more. And so you get a white patch. And that's what the orthodontist or the dentist, anybody that's gluing something into the tooth, filling or like bonding a bracket, that's what it looks like. So now they're putting the little primer, which is part of the glue. And when people say, like, my teeth look yellow, sometimes this contributes to the yellowness. Don't worry, it's gonna go away once they get rid of all the bracket. All right, so now these these are brackets, but they're not like the normal brackets you put the wire through. They're called eyelets. They usually have like a little loop of sorts that you can tie onto or grab onto with. The trick sometimes about this, I don't know if you saw the person bite down, right? If you got teeth that are way back there, sometimes you bite on the brackets. If you're in an underbite, right, and you cover up your top teeth, that can be one of the tricks is that you've got braces on the top, you're biting there. So you gotta make sure that you're, and sometimes the orthodontist will put extra glue or give you an appliance to keep you from biting on those brackets. Okay, there you go. So you can see how that flexible wire is brought down in. They use the little metal tie to pull that wire into the tooth. And that's how over time they're gonna let that try to pull forward into that space. Fantastic, I love that. So there you have it, nice little setup there. They added a little bit of glue onto that wire piece, which is sweet. Sometimes you can do that to help make it so that those extra wire pieces don't poke. And again, the idea here, they went through, this adult went through a Marpy mini screw assisted expansion to try and broaden the arch, which we can see, awesome. Maybe the consideration you should have before you go through surgery. And then now they're trying to get all the teeth to fit into proper place. Like we said, sometimes if you're really crowded and crooked, equal and opposite reactions, you can make straight teeth become crooked. And the way to try to avoid that is by using one base strong arch wire 
And then you have flexible wires, like in this picture, that you use to pull into or help align those other teeth. And you might need to use some open coils or some closed coils. You might have to use some extra ties and then maybe a little bit of glue. Of course, you've got those little colors, which everybody loves. Anyways, this was a fantastic video. This orthodontist did a wonderful job. Great technique. It looks awesome. <laughs> so hey, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. If you're in the McKinney, Texas, or in a Texas area, and you want to talk about straight teeth and beautiful bites, I'm your guy. Come find us. That's all I've got. Just a little PFO, so you know where you're going. Packard out.